Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today I am reviewing the Sikrax Warrior. I have two of these and the Sikrax Leader. Basically this is a kit bash as I've already said because the Leader is just the same but without the um, helmet -y bit and without a sword because he comes with a, a thing. A, the Sikrax Leader comes with a staff and a whip. So anyway, articulation is, well, not very good because of the cape, but the cape is awesome. So you can't, so you can't like do 360. You can do half where, because of the cape. So, uh, um, the arms do 360. Turn the uh, hands do. Um, they go in by the fellowships. The legs can't do any articulation because of all of the like cape stuff and the shoes are kind of like molded inwards look well, I slide the back and I slide the shoe so yeah um, that's basically all the articulation there isn't much articulation but it is a series one figure um, but you can get this from I don't know where my nan got it from but she did get it from somewhere and I remember getting another one from the same place it might have been but I don't know uh, the first one we got was only £1.99, so I thought bargain to say that I didn't have one already. Um, detail is um, good, it's got the chain with all the bones, then that bone there. A bit like the um, priestess, high priestess, had all those bones and black like bit there as a collar. And then the detail mainly is to the he head, you know, you've got all these lines there, you've got the eyes, and then you've got a split in between the eyes, um, you've got this black split, you've got like the face bit, which is all like cool, and you've got the back with all the different texture, so like if you actually feel it, it feels cool. And then um, the height of it, it just about reaches the three doctors, and then... So well, I will give this figure a well, a well earned um, hmm, nine and a half out of ten because I would say the articulation on the feet could have been better, but the those are good. The hands, though, because you've still got the detail of the cape and pretty good articulation because you can, you know, swivel the, like, fists, you know, these metal bits, the metal bit, and then the sword, very well done, very well, well done. And it's basically just that tip, regular sword. And then that bit isn't just straight, it kind of goes outwards. And then they've got all that bone like bit, like from there, you know, the bone stuff on the sword. And then they've got a bit of the bone there, but then it goes out to um, like this leather stuff, the red leathery kind of like symbol y thing. It just pops in like that. Um, you can put it in different positions, you know, like he's about to attack and then strike down or go. Or you can just have him on like guard, like guarding the Sikrax warrior. I mean leader. Um, so yeah, a nine and a half um, articulation with the legs could have been better. Detail, brilliant. Um, to say it's a series one figure, it is brilliant you know the articulation is brilliant so that is one of the first ish ones but yeah next i'll be reviewing the slothene and then c3po um so that's the star wars clone wars figure and you have seen him in the um oh what is it torchwood you've seen him in the desert and you haven't seen him either of them because there's two of them so thanks for watching and uh bye